Welcome to Superior Profit Weekly Market Roundup, 29th April 2017. I am Nandi, Chief Analyst and Trader of Superior Profit based in Singapore. I will not spend time to introduce myself. However, if you would not like to know more about me, the company Superior Profit, or more importantly, how it can help you in your trading, you may visit the website www.superiorprofit.co and go to the About Us menu. Before we begin, let us go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on Superior Profit's trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior Profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior Profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by its audience. As usual, we'll go through some of the commodities, oil, gold, etc. And then Indian index and few forex symbols through Q technical charts. We look at SPY, QQQ and DIA to check the health of the USA market before going to broad market internal analysis, sector and industry analysis using key graphs and heat map and ranking table. We may look at some of the posts in the community since our last class and check for Q trades for upcoming week. We will also today like to go through the steps that I follow to pick the strongest stock in an industry. Today for this purpose, we'll use the Indian IT industry, which has fallen a lot. Q&A is throughout the session. You may ask your question through the Q&A panel and I will try to answer them as I go along. We start with the instrument gold. We are looking at the ETF GLD using weekly chart on the left hand side with backdrop template and daily chart on the right hand side with hop on template. In the last two weeks class, I had mentioned that in superior profit way, we don't like to buy an instrument which is at the upper boundary or close to the upper boundary. And I had mentioned that if somebody wants to trade beyond the upper boundary, they may be careful and check if the instrument has a past tendency of going above the upper boundary and staying above that. Sometimes an instrument does go above upper boundary and stays there for a long time. However, that didn't happen this time. And usually it doesn't happen. So in the case of gold, after the bearish headwind sign appeared in the daily hop on template, the price actually pulled back to value area. Right now, it is moving sideways for a few days. There is no trade signal. It is in uptrend, but we have a bearish traffic light candle color in daily. If it goes up, on Monday and gives us a cyan daily flow candle color, it may give us a go with flow long opportunity, provided the weekly conditions are also met. Right now, there is a bearish headwind signal on the weekly. However, the candle shape itself is very indecisive. Let's now move to USO. In superior profit way, we always take the support memory lines seriously. In US oil, our last trading opportunity had come at memory support and resistance lines. One had come when price came very close to the resistance memory line at the top and the one prior to that came when price came to the memory support line at the bottom. At the right edge, price again came to the same support memory line and then bounced up from there. Because there is no extreme high activity or very high activity in the daily chart, there is no bounce trade setup on the chart. However, 
keeping in mind the memory support line an alert trader might be able to catch the very bottom of this day's candle and at least have a very profitable day trade we have a set of unambiguous checklists for all the standard q trade setups and it is possible sometimes to improvise on that and i suggest we do that for the instruments that we watch regularly if somebody was watching us oil regularly they would be starting to have a feeling about how the price is moving whether buyers are stepping in at a lower point or not and if that is so they might be able to improvise and take even a swing long trade at this candle when it was bouncing up from the memory support line if we look at the weekly it is also bounded by a resistance memory at the top and support memory at the bottom the weekly candle is indecisive somewhat similar to what we saw in the gold weekly candle that is a candle with both upper and lower tails let us now move to india market nifty here we are looking at the indian broad market index nifty futures using the daily hop on template right now price went close to the upper boundary line and it is overbought or stretched to the upside as is shown by the series of green dots on top of the candle chart price is also above the watermark resistance line that was formed by the bearish shadow in earlier because price is already close to upper boundary line we are not going to look for any long position at this point the last go with flow long position could be taken on this cyan flow color candle right now an optimal trade might come if the price tilts down goes below the resistance watermark level thereby creating a false upside breakout and if that is accompanied by bear release signal at the top implying that price may be tilting down and also accompanied by heavy activity then we'll have the setup for a box sideways short trade and we may use that to take a swing short trade on the instrument let's look at some of the forex symbols let's look at sing dollar sing dollar was earlier moving around the white very slow direction line we said we wouldn't like to take any trade at that point and we were waiting for the price to go up to the declining slow direction line or the resistance memory line until down which indeed happened so an alert trader could have shorted at that point right now price is again back to the white very slow direction line it is moving in narrow range days at the right edge and we have no valid trade setup in superior profit way price is also inside a resistance memory at the top which is very close to the closing price on friday and it is also bounded by a support memory at the bottom which is some distance away from the current price so one possibility could be that price breaks out of the resistance memory goes up comes down and goes up again making a higher low and thereby giving a possible swing go with flow long trade setup the other possibility could be for price to come down and give us a go with flow short trade opportunity because price is already coming down with lower high and equal low you can say not not lower low strictly speaking at least the resistance memory line is coming down showing lower highs so if price tilts down from here breaks the support watermark level then one may consider taking a short trade though it will not be a standard q trade setup okay let's move on to few more forex instruments let's look at aussie dollar australian dollar is somewhat similar to sing dollar in the sense it is coming down with lower highs the lower lows were approximately at the same level however in this case price could come down below the support watermark level and then go back up 
with a bull release signal. So it has created a fake downside breakout. If it was a strong instrument, it was possible that we could look for very or extreme high activity and thereby confirming a box long trade at the right edge. Because for forex symbols, the activity data is not reliable. It is a bit difficult to apply the standard box trade setup. Again, you may take it only if you are watching the instrument regularly. If we take a long trade right now at the right edge of the chart, then the expected profit target will be at the declining memory resistance line. It may give an acceptable reward risk ratio, but again, I suggest someone who is only observing the instrument regularly have a feeling about the instrument to take such non-standard Q trade setups. Let's look at Euro USD. Euro USD came back to the memory support line, went back up from there by creating this cyan flow color candle, thereby giving us a going flow long trade setup. Since then, price has gone up. Right now, it is at the upper boundary. It is overbought at the right edge as shown by the stretch signal. It is also at the resistance watermark level that was created by the bearish headwind. Friday's candle shape is bearish, traffic light is neutral, yellow. So if price tilts down from here with a bear release signal, then we may have something like a box short trade setup. Again, it will not be a standard setup because we don't expect very or extreme high activity in the forex pair. If somebody is watching the instrument regularly, they may be able to take a swing short trade at the right edge if the bear release signal comes up. If such a trade is taken, the profit target may be at the ascending yellow or slow direction line and the next target will be at the ascending memory support line. Let's now move to US market and look at SPY, QQQ and DIA. SPY at the right edge went up and on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday made non-decisive candles or mixed candles. On Wednesday, it was a bearish shape candle. On Thursday, a somewhat bullish shape candle and Friday, a bearish shape candle again. The traffic light color has turned yellow, but the memory support line is nearby. There is no standard trade setup at the right edge of the chart. In the weekly chart also, using backdrop template, price is at the memory support line and the candle shape of last week is bearish with upper tail or you may say it is mixed because it has upper tail though the body is hollow and the candle color itself is cyan that is bullish. So there is mixed signal from the weekly and daily both of these charts. There is no standard trade setup at the right edge of the chart. Because price went up at made a higher high and it made slightly higher low, the stock is in uptrend. So we are not going to look for a short trade at least not go with flow short setup. Even if price tilts down on Monday and gave us a bearish flow magenta color candle. Let's look at Daya. Daya has a chart similar to SPY. It jumped up and on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, it has mixed signal in the daily chart. In the weekly chart, again, the candle is mixed. It has upper tail, which is bearish, but the body is hollow, which is bullish. The backdrop color itself is bullish, that is cyan. So there is no signal, trade signal on DIA also at this point. And similar to SPY, even if it tilts down on Monday and give us a flow color magenta that is bearish, that will not be a signal to take a short trade. Let's look at QQQ. QQQ had been strongest among the three US ETFs and it continues to be that in this week also. QQQ made new high 
last week and at the right edge of the chart it has a candle with mixed signal on friday the price opened with a gap up but then came down making the candle shape solid it has a lower tail which is slightly bigger than the upper tail that is bullish traffic light flow color itself is bullish in the weekly chart the candle is very bullish it has backdrop color cyan that is bullish and the shape is also very bullish a hollow candle it is overbought shown by the stretch signal because price is already above upper boundary we are not going to consider taking any long trade at this point if i move to the other hop on template where we can see the watermark support resistance lines then we can see that price is quite above the watermark resistance line so even if price tilted down little bit with a bear daily signal will not be taking any short trade because price may come to the watermark resistance line and then go back up on the other hand if price came all the way down and closed inside the watermark resistance level it will give us a false upside breakout how far we will not use that to take a short trade because the risk distance that is the distance from the watermark level to the local high the stop loss distance will be too wide so we don't anticipate taking any standard swing short trade or long trade in qqq as well let's now move to broad market sector and industry analysis i have created the graphs for that let me open that this is the broad market analysis chart using nasdaq composite index on the left hand side and the nyse composite index on the right hand side both using weekly charts because this is using weekly charts it is to be used only for long term investment and not for swing trading or day trading purpose the indices themselves continue to be in uptrend and so far it has higher high higher low nasdaq just like qqq continues to be the strongest it has made new high last week and the price is overbought shown by the stretch signal nyse has a somewhat mixed signal it also went up with a gap on last week's monday but it ended the week with a bearish shape candle with a reasonably large upper tail so this has some bearish connotation however we have to say it is mixed signal because the price still close reasonably higher than previous week's close the bearish shape alone doesn't confirm that it is bearish because the closing of the week was higher than previous week we also look at the three pairs of internals new high low at the top advanced decline in the middle and up down volume at the bottom we have been saying that the internals are weak for a while but this week they are bearish and let me explain that both the new high lows went up and ended positive but all the others ended negative shown by red or magenta color and only this one went up but very slightly that is nyse up down volume now there is one pattern that we can observe from the right edge of the chart that hasn't come for many many weeks or many months this is the first time where for four successive weeks all these four internals couldn't go above zero i repeat that again this is the first time in many many months that the four internals that is advanced decline and up down volume for nasdaq and nyse four of them together couldn't go up above zero for four successive weeks they remain below zero for four successive weeks that's one month in a row that hasn't happened for very long time that is uh, uncommon at least in in the recent history so that's why i say that this week's move has become bearish though the nasdaq especially and also nyse closed higher so we may watch for this and see if the trend can change from here finally we can make money only by trading the actual instrument but the internals in this way show us objectively what is actually going on in the market and the new high low going up may be because of the earning season resulting in few large companies going up and pulling few fellows fellow peer companies along with that making new high lows higher other depth internals are all bearish in this week in terms of sector performance 
every week we look at 10 broad sectors across three different time periods the red line indicating the performance over last five days the blue line over five days prior to that and the green line over 10 days before the blue line together they constitute 20 days or about one month of performance we see that utilities and non-cyclical consumer goods and services hardly moved over last one month period both of these are defensive sectors in this week eight out of ten sectors ended in positive but we saw that broad market internals were clearly out of sync this is the second successive week where most of the sectors ended in positive so the flip-flop that is one week up one week down was less in this particular week healthcare went up by 2.8 percent and technology sector went up by 2.7 percent these are the two biggest gainers of this week let's go to the top 10 best performing industries over last five days and we see renewable energy equipment has become the best performing industry in this week and this is the third consecutive week where large flip-flops are visible in this industry this week it is the best performing industry the week before that it was one of the worst performers and the week prior to that it was again a best ranking industry so it changed from being best ranker to one of the worst performer to becoming the very best performer in this week and over last one month it has a net gain of one percent renewable energy equipment as an industry has been a laggard for a very long time and we may see that if it starts moving up from here we'll be able to see it more clearly from the industry heat map and ranking table that we will study later among the best performers are three retailers and restaurant bar industry these are all related to consumer spending and we see that mobile telecom went up though telecom as a sector we saw earlier decline that is because other telecom industry groups like fixed telecom had declined in this week mobile telecom in itself had a gain of six percent though i observed several mobile telephone companies or maybe they are integrated telecom companies like at&t verizon declined so there is mixed signal in the telecom sector we may watch for certain stocks or such certain industry in that telecom sector for possible reversal several telephone companies in us are very much down now like verizon at&t etc and one may keep an eye on them to see when and if they start reversing if we look at the five days worst performing industries then we see three of them are related to oil and coal that is the decline continuing from previous week we see fixed line telecom and telecom are down probably these are the two industries and similar other industries pulled the sector down as a whole iron and steel is showing flip-flop it was among the best performers one week ago and now it is among the worst performers and over one month it is actually down by more than seven percent we discussed in earlier classes that when flip-flop is apparent in five days and ten days period it is better to look at the monthly heat map ranking table to see the trend properly so if we did that probably we will be able to catch some short trade in iron and steel industry in the past few weeks or at least protect profit in any long position that one might have we also look at the industries with biggest rank improvements renewable energy equipment and electronic office equipment also both of these were among the worst performers in the past and now they are two of the best rank improving industries so we may keep an eye on them to see if they reverse from here and look for potential buy opportunity at low price there are two rates now so this week they are the best rank improver industrial office rate and diversified rate but they were among the worst rank decliner one week ago so this is also showing flip-flop the two rate industries looking at the industries with biggest rank declines home construction was a big losing industry last week we had discussed that i think enamel raised some question on this industry group so if enamel or others were looking for short opportunities since last week they might have got some swing or day trade short opportunities in this industry group there is no pattern among the biggest rank decliners and overall we can see from sector and industry graph analysis 
there was some flip-flop but less than in previous weeks let's now move to the heat map and ranking table of the sector and industries for that we go to our website we can access it from the home sector and industry menu every week we rank the 10 sectors from 1 to 10 across eight review periods from last five days last 10 days to last six months and apply a rank to them from 1 to 10 1 being the strongest 10 being the weakest and then color them with a heat map cyan to the strongest one magenta to the weakest one and a color gradient to all the sectors in between we do that for all the review periods that gives us a heat map and ranking table and by looking at it in an instance we know which ones are strong like technology is strong right now we can see the color is cyan all throughout which ones are weak energy is now weak all throughout and also importantly which ones are turning from weak to strong and which ones are turning from strong to weak in this week i have ranked it and sorted it by the one month ranking because there is some flip-flop among the five day and ten days data for seeing the clear trend we may look at the monthly data and then see how it is moving on from there over last 10 days and five days however if you would like to sort it on the five days and 10 days ranking you can click here to download the file and do the sorting and analysis on your own computer now if we look at this sector heat map ranking table there is no very obvious color transition that we may use for trading purpose the ones that were strong over one month period are remaining strong over last 10 days and five days you may say and the ones which were weak over last one month period are more or less remaining weak over the last 10 and five day periods so let's now look at the industry group ranking and heat map table we do the same analysis with industry groups as we do for sectors but now for 160 industry groups here also we now sort it by the one month ranking and then see if we can locate any shift from strength to weakness or vice versa and if we do that probably we'll find some interesting industry groups home construction is one it was strong for many months and now it declined little bit over 10 days period and declined a lot more over five days period it showed up in the industry graph as well so if we are holding long position in home construction stocks we may be careful protect our profit and also look for potential short of it we see some weakness in the technology hardware and equipment industry also its rank declined first from 21 to 37 and now to 103 so that may be another area where we may look for swing short trade and also protect profit on long position that we may have renewable energy equipment this is one industry group which was weak for very long time one of the very worst performer with ranking of 159 out of 160 total industry groups and we see that it has jumped to number one rank in the last five day period so we may look for potential long opportunity in this industry group the other one uh, industry group that we saw from the graph is electronic office equipment which was also one of the worst performers earlier went up strongly as an industry with ranking of 11 so this is where we may also look for potential long trade and if we had any short trade be careful and protect the profit using the sector and industry heat map and ranking table in this way allows us to take swing trades that are aligned to the industry sector thereby giving us more and more edges to our trades so we went through few commodity instruments forex instruments indian market usa market the three etfs broad market sector and industry analysis now let us go through few trade ideas that were shared in traders community fast solar fast solar is a renewable energy industry company and i had posted it before the industry analysis was done industry analysis is done only at the end of the week 
but it caught my eye during the week and I have posted it in a forum. We have named it keep in view. So if you are watching some stock, then even if it is not ready to take a trade, you may post it in keep in view. All the graduate club members have access to that and share the idea with each other and seek view from others. So I have started doing the same. So first solar to me doesn't have any trade setup, but I am keeping an eye on that. I found it using Q charts. Let's look at the chart. I noted that in the weekly backdrop template on the left hand side, price went down significantly, made a watermark low level, price tried to go below that again, but at the right edge, it went up with a backdrop color cyan that is bullish with a bull release signal also bullish and now giving us a false downside breakout activity was not very high but high in the last week in the daily chart we see that after significant time after a significant drop as well it has created a higher high and higher low in the chart at the right edge price is very close to upper boundary and also touching the declining yellow slow direction line which can act as resistance this is the snapshot at the time i posted it and i mentioned that it has started uptrend with higher high higher low but we may watch it and not enter any long right now so i kept it in view and i also noticed there was heavy activity over the last two days. That was one post that I shared in Keep in View. CBS is another one. When I shared it on April 28 in Quiz Playground, I observed that the media and media agencies, both of them, okay, media, media was strong earlier and then turning weak, that is magenta, and media ag agencies were weak all the way. CBS is actually a media company. And at that time, the at a glance chart looked like this. On the left hand side, using weekly backdrop template, I observed that it had a series of two bearish headwinds. After the last bearish headwind, four successive weeks had magenta color, that is backdrop color bearish with relative performance tilting down. In this particular week, price slightly closed higher, but the candle shape was very bearish. So the weekly was meeting all the conditions for a go with flow short trade. In the daily chart using hop on template, I saw that it had lower highs and price being resisted by a declining memory resistance line. Price also had a lower low at this point and at the right edge, price was at value area with a magenta flow candle that is bearish relative performance tilted down, all the movement indicators were bearish red as well. That met all the conditions of a go with flow short red setup. And I posted it as a potential candidate. There was a question from uh, Sean to look at XLNX. I will do that. Please remind me uh, if I forget. There were few more posts in the community by me. One was on UA under armor it is also in apparel industry as we discussed in last week's class apparel industry was weak but starting to go up and i already shared few companies few trades in that industry including lb that went up since the time i posted let me show the ua chart it also looks interesting this may be a potential swing trade as well as a long term buy you can see the apparel retailers group as a whole was weak earlier, magenta color, and now steadily turning stronger with cyan color in the industry heat map table. And if we look at the chart at the time I posted it, in the weekly chart with backdrop template price declined a lot, stabilized, and at the right edge went up with a very strongly bullish candle, both in terms of shape as well as backdrop color with a bull release signal and in this case with heavy activity. 
in daily chart we can see there was a gap down then for many weeks or probably months price was moving sideways at the right edge it was bounded by resistance and support memory forming a triangle and then at the right edge it broke out of the triangle with a gap up very strong up move with heavy activity this was a result of earnings price was already at upper boundary and at the declining yellow direction line this this move was similar to first solar or this location of the right edge candle was similar to first solar already at upper boundary already near yellow direction line so we will not be initiating any long trade at this point our next opportunity could be price declines little bit to value area and goes back up giving us a go with flow long trade setup that may be an opportunity to catch this stock at a very low price i also did some fundamental information checking and few companies in apparel industry group came out as the strongest lb was one of them l brands and under armor is also one of them you may do your own analysis also and keep an eye on these two stocks there were few trades i shared in the india market and they were stopped out and it is important to know that also and follow our stop loss now when i shared the trade this was how the weekly and daily charts look like weekly using backdrop template it was going down with resistance memory resisting the price move up at the right edge the candle color was magenta shape was also bearish in weekly chart in daily chart it was going down with lower highs and it was slightly going down with lower low as well at the right edge it had a magenta flow candle relative performance tilting down all the movements red so it made the requirements of a go with flow short trade this is one stock that is in the auto industry and i looked at some of the other auto industry companies in india and they look bearish to me we don't have as much data on sector and industry in india market as we have on us market and that is true for most of the non us markets us market has maximum data available on sector and industry group india market it is available but not to the extent it is available in us market so anyway i looked at whatever data is available and it looked to me that the auto industry group in india was weaker so that supported my decision to take a short trade however mahindra mahindra went back up after i took the trade the trade idea was shared on this magenta candle and just two days after that it went up with a gap up and also closed the day with a strongly bullish candle both in terms of shape and color with heavy activity our stop loss was at this price level using q protection signal and in superior profit way we entered the trade with discipline and we also exit the trade with discipline if gtc orders are allowed then our stop loss is always with gtc order good till cancel order and will be stopped out at this price level what happened after that is after the fact we are not going to look at the chart and say oh price came down again from here it stopped out at the stop loss level and we follow that with discipline let's look at zilinx now zilinx clearly had earnings interest rate we can see the data so probably this gap up was related to earnings and now at the right edge it made an inside candle let me draw them again this was the earnings day it was 62 cents which was positive and which was also larger than last quarter that's why the color is green here so price went back up but we see the move started from this level after the bullish headwind came it created a watermark level and price couldn't go below that price continuously went up from there at this point a bull release had come and it was accompanied with heavy activity there was no watermark support level here so it was not possible to decide on any box long trade at this point 
but the bullish headwind might be used for a potential long trade or at least if any short trade was there one might have protected the profit now this move happened very suddenly from this bottom it went up straight from lower boundary to upper boundary those are wild moves and it is difficult to catch that trade in that move other than using the headwind or the bull release signal now at the right edge on thursday we went up and friday it has an inside candle with potential exhaustion the price is overbought but there is no bear release signal yet in the weekly chart it went above the watermark level that was created by a bearish headwind earlier for a long time after the bearish headwind price couldn't go above that now because of earnings gap up it went up above that but it ended with a somewhat bearish shape candle so in daily chart if price comes down little bit more then the bear release signal will appear and probably it will also go below the high watermark level in weekly chart at the same time completing a fake upside breakout at that time if the risk to stop loss is narrow relative to potential reward then one might consider taking a short trade right now i will not take any long trade because it is over extended to the upside you can see the stretch signal and also clearly it is much above the upper boundary and right now i will not take a short trade because the traffic light color is green and the bear release signal hasn't appeared yet but an alert day trader may look for short opportunity on monday look for not enter it right at open but use the fine tune chart to look for short opportunity on monday that is my view on zillings let's now move to the other topic of today that how to identify the strongest companies in an industry group and for that we'll use indian stock for us market it is easier somewhat because we have the heat map and ranking table so we can clearly see which industry groups are moving up and down and we have enough data available to find out stocks in that industry and also have enough fundamental data available for other countries that much data is not available but with the help of metastock zenith we can find out so let's do that thank you thank you everybody for your come one thing i keep on saying you know in trading it is we need few things of course we need risk management money management in superior profit way we focus on that we need robust set of tools i think we have robust set of tools in terms of the industry sector analysis broad market chart and q system and finally we need to be unbiased and being part of this community and also this weekly market roundups helps us to share ideas with each other and remain unbiased so i don't know if it is possible for us to continue to trade in an unbiased manner alone all along but i am quite certain being in a group who have a similar idea of investing with low risk and no gambling that helps a lot so thanks to all of you again for joining this session and being part of the community okay let's uh, go to this analysis now i think you will find it interesting let's look at the industry group for indian it company now the first question is how do we find that how do we draw a chart of the industry group in the first place it is not very easy for us market it is relatively easier so let me now use icon for that purpose which is thomson reuters zenith so let's choose one indian it company let's say infosys it's a very large system integrator they have business all over the world now we can see from the icon that it has dropped a lot actually 24% over last one year period whereas the indian broad market index sensex in this case india has two broad market indices one is sensex in bombay stock exchange and nifty in national stock exchange both move more or less in sync 
you can say Sensex is similar to NASDAQ and Nifty is similar to NYSE. So it was underperforming the market by 40%. At the right edge, we can even see from this line chart that it is coming back to support. Will it reverse up from here? We don't know. But we are alert trader in superior profit way, so we may start keeping an eye on this. Just like in US market, we may start keeping an eye on renewable energy equipment as we discussed. Now, if we see where their business is coming from, we can see 63% actually comes from North America, 23% from Europe, rest of the world 12%. From India is actually only 3%. So though this company is headquartered in India, most of their business is coming from America and Europe. This company is actually listed in the US market also with the same symbol in fee. If we look at their business segment, they are IT company, but they serve many different industry groups. It doesn't mean they have retail operation, retail business or energy utility business. It just means they provide information technology services, support system integration, etc. on these segments. Let's now see how is the industry group of this company that is information technology for India. In icon, we can go to the rebasing chart. This rebasing chart allows us to plot any stock of the whole world and compare it with its relevant industry and sector. So let me clear everything and type again in fee.ns. NS means it is listed in National Stock Exchange in India. And how I have set it up is that it will automatically bring the related industry group the closest that it can find and draw it. And we can see it is now plotting Infosys, the yellow color line and Asia Pacific IT services and consulting index in purple color and Indian IT services and consulting index. So this is the closest match of the industry group that it could find. And this is extremely useful when analyzing stocks which are not in US market, but for US market also you can use it along with the heat map and ranking table. So we can see again from here that Infosys has come back to a support. Now from this industry chart itself, we can see that the industry has fallen a lot, but it has made higher high now, higher low. So it may be starting to go up now it is always useful to also look at the actual symbol through Q chart. So if I click on the name, I can get the symbol and I can go to Q charts and I would like to plot it using weekly chart for indices because we need only longer term chart. So this is a weekly chart and let me now get our symbol for Indian IT industry group. And here we can see more clearly what is going on. Q charts are very reliable. We had a bear release long time ago. Since then price couldn't go up. When price went back to this level and also to this level, they were good short opportunities, both long term and swing trading. At this point, a bullish headwind appeared in the weekly chart. Since then price couldn't go down anymore. It has created a support memory and now price declined in the weekly chart and right resting you can say right on top of the support memory. It hasn't tilted up yet. Relative performance is very weak. How do we look for stocks in this industry group and find the strongest one? We will use icon again. In icon we have something called equities search. We can search on multiple parameters. So let's search on India market. I have set some value for average daily volume that is half million and closing price uh, something above certain number and because we are looking for strong fundamental companies now looking for potential long term investment for EPS I am searching for companies which has greater than zero EPS that is positive earnings. We look for information technology. 
industry group or software and IT services. Now this has given me 13 companies starting from TCS and this is the company Infosys I was looking at and other IT companies from the India market. And I have put some of the fundamental data here, but it is easier to analyze in Excel. So I have already exported in an Excel. You can do that by selecting all the tickers and exporting to Excel. I have done that. So let me open that file. By the way, before looking at it, if anybody is aware of the Indian industry, could you guess which will be the top three companies in Indian IT industry in terms of fundamental? Could you type your answer in the Q&A session? Don't look at this. <laughs> Let me hide the Excel. Can you, can you tell me, can somebody type who are ever of the India market, which three you expect to be strongest fundamentally? Yes, TCS, TCS is actually, oh, Binoy is very close. Binoy says, Son says TCS, of course TCS is one of them. Binoy says Infosys, TCS and HCL Tech. Let's look at it. I, I think Infosys and TCS are there, HCL Tech, we'll look at it. Some of the data is uh, RIC, that is the code, Thomson Reuters code, Reuters identification code, uh, and the name of the company, India is from India Exchange and the sector industry. Average volume, those we already know. So let me hide them. What we are going to do, we are going to look at the companies which are least expensive. So PE ratio gives us that, which are the least expensive. And we may look at PE relative to index. And we are looking for the ones with the smallest PE ratio. And I, how I have colored it is anything below average or high above average, whichever is appropriate for PE, anything below average is colored with green color. So we are going to look for the companies which are colored with green background. And after that, I look at multiple parameters. I explained somewhat in last class. Let me explain again. PE and PE relative to index or PE relative to sector shows whether they are expensive or not. So the green color ones are not expensive relative to its peers. In this analysis, it is not important to know about the absolute values. It is more important to know how they stack against each other in the industry group. Now EPS growth and revenue growth over five years, it shows the long-term strength of the company. Again, the ones with green color are strong. Operating margin shows if Management is able to generate profit from operations, excluding one-time activities. And again, the green colored ones are the stronger. Return on equity and return on asset shows whether management is able to use the asset efficiently. The green colored ones are the strongest one. By the way, operating margin also helps us knowing the medium term health of the company. The five year growth rate shows the long term health operating margin shows the medium term health and we can say quick ratio shows the short term health whether the company is able to meet this debt obligation and then we have current ratio let me clear the drawing and scroll to the right current ratio and debt equity the lower the debt equity the better it is all we need to do is find the rows which has maximum green color which rows will those be? I also don't remember the symbol. So let's look at it. I think this row is one of it. As the maximum green colors. Then the other one will be, I think this one. Mm, not this one. I think it will be the lower one. This one. And if we have to choose third one, which row will you choose? We are looking at the stock that is on top of the yellow line, the arrow line. So row 10 and row 6 have maximum green color. And will it be row 8? Yes, it will be row 8, right? So these three are the strongest, objectively speaking, without even looking at the name of the companies. They are relatively inexpensive. They are in an industry group that declined a lot underperformed Indian broad market, 
but now just resting at support has not yet gone up but just resting at support so let's look at the three companies what these are rows 6 8 and 10 they are hcl tech infosys and tcs so binoy was very very right on all the three companies is hcl tech infosys and tcs now this analysis is possible on any industry in any country let me close this i will open another excel you can choose any industry group let's choose renewable energy companies this is something i created i don't know it is going to work or not it will be a bit embarrassing if it doesn't work but it's okay let's try fast solar okay so we have the data on fast solar let's try run is it run or okay let's go uh, for renewable energy equipment let's go back to icon and look up some of the peers of fast solar fast solar is a large renewable energy comp uh, company go to overview so it is showing fast solar sun power in lee sun run etc i don't know uh, the code for all of them i think sun run let's click on some of them sun power spwr.o okay let's try then sun run is it run.o yes sun run run.o okay so you can see the numbers are starting to come up the excel is linked to thomson reuters cool isn't it so in this excel i see that out of these three we, we need to put probably more but if we just have a quick look at the three we can clearly see first solar has the largest number of green color shades this tool using icon is very useful to analyze companies not only in us market but in any country of the world for finding the strongest companies fundamentally in an industry group that is all i plan to share in this session thanks for joining and i look forward to seeing you again